This is fun. It's just me and you. This is all I wanted. This is all I've wanted for a long time. And now I got it. So I'm gonna make the most of it. I just like to take a moment right now to fill you in on the details of what's been happening so we can keep track of the plays so we don't lose the narrative of the story. Stories are important. I think my story is important. I'd like to talk to you a little bit about that right now. But in order for me to do that, we need to address the word of the day. The word of the day is sabotage. <laughs> what a great word. Sabotage. Let me take you back to my days at NXT. I had this moment, this uh, epiphany, three seconds of clairvoyance, realization. WWE champions, they feel like they are untouchable. They're on some other kind of level than the rest of us. Definitely on some other sort of level above you watching, no offense. They're special. Something different about them. Then came along Finn Balor, who I have all the respect in the world for. He was the NXT champion at the time. He's a former WWE Universal Champion. A lot of people forget about that, but I didn't. He's won championships all over the world. Here was my chance to face a WWE Champion. This wasn't like the rest of the champions I fought in my career in WWE or before. This is top of the food chain competition. And I don't know what it was, but Something about when I almost put my elbow through the back of his entire head, I began to realize, wow, they're not untouchable like the way they want you to think they are, like the way they talk, like the way they try to convince you. It's almost deceptive the way they go about it. But hey, that's the name of the game. You gotta win by any means necessary. And he came back for a second time. And I thought to myself, well, surely this is not going to be a walk in the park. The first time wasn't, the second time, I'll admit it now, I wasn't sure if I could win that match. He saw what I could do. He felt my best shot and he came back for more. That means something, that says something about a person. So this time, I really beat the hell out of him. <laughs> and there it was, standing over my very first WWE Champion. And I realized in that moment, oh, I can do this to any of them. I have that power. I realized that in that moment. Not everybody can do that, but I could. Something changed in me. And then, we went up to Monday Night Raw in a very strange outfit. Oh my gosh. I'm sure you know. And I faced my second WWE Champion Jeff Hardy didn't go as planned. <laughs> but the second time around, I beat the living daylights out of Jeff Hardy. And that was the second WWE champion I beat. 
And I thought to myself, hmm. I can put these guys away. If I can do this to two of them, surely I can do it to any of them. Then, I was, uh, we remember that. And then I, I didn't have to say it back then, I didn't. You guys knew. You knew I didn't have to sell you on that. It was clear as day, people could see it. Why did that happen? Why did that happen? Why was I, uh... You know, I've wondered about that for a long time. It depends on what you believe in. Do you believe in a higher power? Maybe you do, maybe you don't. Who knows? Do you believe in fiction? Oh, something tells me you especially believe in fiction. You like that. Well, fiction's an interesting thing. With fiction, you can come up with anything. And that's what it is. There it is. That's it. So I'll let you decide why that happened to me. Twice. Now we fast forward. And I come back. And we all remember that. We set the clock in front of the bloodline. Again, I don't know what you believe in. Do you believe in magic? <laughs> Do you believe in curses? Do you believe in psychological warfare? Is that in your realm of beliefs? A message was sent that day. And then I had to send a message to another former WWE champion, Drew McIntyre. Hardest hitting human being I've ever been in the ring with. <sighs> Extreme rules comes around. And I put my elbow through the back of his head too. Massive weight difference between him, Balor and Ari. He still went down for the count. That's champion number three. You would have thought we were going towards McIntyre and Roman Reigns, but we didn't. But that's fine, I was starting to understand the game We fast forward, we find ourselves in the ring with number four, Rey Mysterio. First time I was in the ring with him, didn't go as planned, but I had been there before. So I knew, we're gonna regroup. Funny story about Ray, I competed in Mexico for over three and a half years and I, I never lost a single match. I was never pinned by any luchador, ever. He was the first luchador to ever beat me, which is no surprise. He's El Rey, he's the king. But I dropped former WWE champs before, him being a former world champion. All I needed was the right shot. Second time around, I found it. <laughs> I knew I could have pinned him after I laced him full clip. Leveled him. But I wanted to choke him instead. Because I wanted that in his head for the rest of his life. Anytime he ever sees me again, whether it's on TV or backstage, press conference, media, parking lot, airport, I'm the guy that put it on him. And I, told, I turned his whole world off, you know? Gone, done. Now we fast forward a little bit to AJ Styles, who was a hard nut to crack. Number five. The phenomenal one. 
took some maneuvering, but we got his ass too. Final prayer. First time I ever used it. He needed something special. And he got it. Like a game of chess. I beat him in only three moves. How many people on this planet can say they beat a former WWE champion in three moves? Just me. People say I have a dark influence on people. They come around me and they change. You think that's by accident? I don't have the power to sabotage people the way I have been sabotaged. I don't. But what I can do is, I can show you who they really are. Everyone will tell you I'm the bad guy. And perhaps you believe that. That's okay if you do, I don't mind. But I am the biggest and greatest underdog you have ever seen on your television or your little phones in your entire life. I have been attempting to attain greatness that was taken away from me. And if I can't have that, so be it. I'm still gonna chase it and maybe I'll get it. But on the way there, whether I do or I don't, I'm gonna show you who all these people really are that you're cheering for. They're not what you think. Bobby Lashley should have been number six. I never beat him, not once. Can you believe that? He's a different animal. So what did I show you there? Because I've shown you things with other people and you know exactly what I'm talking about. I don't need to go into detail. I want you to go back and watch WrestleMania. When Scarlet and BFAB went off the apron through that table not a single person checked on BFAB. Not one of them. Are these guys still your heroes? Do you understand how insane that is? The moment the match was done, I rolled out of the ring and I picked my wife up off the floor and I carried her out of that place. Nobody picked her up. Nobody said, are you okay? Good guys. Sabotage. That is the new word of the day. See you around Mondays. Keep watching. You know where to find me, because I have much more to show you. Take talk.